hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to design your 14s 2p or 14s 4p battery pack using Nissan Leaf modules I strongly recommend you to draw your battery pack before you physically assemble it as a single mistake or accidental short circuit of the modules can lead to a fire and uh, can even burn your entire house down you can use microsoft excel to design or sketch your battery pack this is my current configuration which is 14s into 2p i have 14 modules which means i have 28 cells two cells are always parallel and two cells into 14 are in series like this each module uh, has a width of 35 millimeter so into 14 modules means uh, entire width of my battery pack is 490 millimeter you also can uh, use the same configuration for 14s 2p battery pack design uh, which is 48 volt before uh, physically assembling the battery take a printout of your sketch and paste it in uh, front of you so that you will not make any mistakes these are three options to make 14s 4p battery packs in option number one all the uh, 28 modules are placed on a single row like this four modules are in parallel and the entire battery pack is in 14s series like this so 48 volt will be the nominal voltage of this pack which is 14s uh, 4p uh, if you do have the space of one meter length then i recommend you to go with this option because you can avoid uh, this type of um, flexible terminals you can manage only with bus bars here in option number two modules are placed in two rows 16 in one row and balance in the second row you need a steel rack or something like that for the modules to place the length of the uh, lengthier side is 560 millimeter if you do have uh, this uh, space then you go with this option only disadvantage here is that you will have to use one uh, flexible terminal here other than that this is also a good option uh, for 14s uh, 4p 48 volt uh, battery option number three is my least preferred uh, option uh, you can store 14 modules in uh, two rows uh, and the width will be 490 millimeter only uh, which looks nice but only disadvantage is you will have to use three flexible terminals to connect between the two rows other than that there is no any uh, other disadvantage this is also 14s 4p 48 volt uh, design so for uh, 14s will look like this it will go all the way from here and here and will come to negative do not place your modules in this orientation as uh, weight of one module is uh, 3.8 kg and they add on like this and if you place 14 in this vertical orientation the bottom most uh, surface is getting 53.2 kg where these uh, Nissan Leaf modules unable to bear that much of load so if you are in any case orienting in this way uh, maximum you should uh, place on top of each other is 4 other than that it is not recommended and even then I don't recommend this orientation you can go with the first three options that I have proposed Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can 
watch more and more very useful videos in future.